Hey there, it's Patrick Wagner. Remember when content marketing was all about that gut feeling and your intuition? Well, those days are long gone. Today, it's all about data-driven content creation. But why is that so important? Because data doesn't just guide us, it propels us forward, leading to some of the most successful campaigns we've ever seen. Today, I'm here to empower you to harness your Twitter data, turn the raw information into game-changing content strategy and watch your engagement soar. Ready? Let's dive in. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's talk about tools. First up, Twitter analytics. Why is this crucial? Because it's the backbone of understanding your audience's engagement. From retweets to likes, every metric gives us a little insight into what's working and what's not. But that's just one piece of the puzzle. ChatGPT will help us analyze our data and even cooler, assist in content ideation. Let's get into it. All right, step one, we've got our tools. Now we need our data. Now, while Twitter is enhancing its analytics for now, we're gonna be focusing on the last 28 days of your Twitter data. So let's hop on over to Twitter analytics and grab that data. So make sure you're logged into your Twitter account, go to Creator Studio, click on analytics. You'll see them updating your analytics. Go to the new one and chose your last seven days. Click down here to access your post analytics and go to export data by tweet. And that's it, you've got it. But remember, raw data is like a raw ingredient. It has potential, but we need to refine it. So instead of getting lost in spreadsheets, we're stepping into the future. ChatGPT 4.0's new feature, Advanced Data Analysis, is our secret weapon. It helps us sort, structure, and normalize our data, making our process not only fast, but smarter. All right, time for some AI magic. Feed your data into ChatGPT and ask clear, direct questions. Want to know which tweet had the most retweets or which sparked the most conversation? Just ask. So we start in GPT-4. I'm gonna use advanced data analysis. Make sure it's clicked on. You'll get a plus mark here so you can attach your file. I'm gonna attach all of our Twitter analytics. And I'm gonna say, please ingest the following Twitter data about my recent 28 days of posts. And let's analyze it together. And there you have it. It's going to start by loading up that data from the CSV format. You can actually see the work that it's doing there. And then it's going to start analyzing some of that data and providing some basic results. Most of the time, it's going to ask you some details or some questions. Like, how, what kind of analysis do you really want, right? And I'm going to say, let's do a combination of all of those and normalize them. This ensures that the data is set up properly and you're actually counting the metrics apples to apples, which is so important in this process. As you can see, it's going to dig through the data now and start analyzing it for us. There you can see it starts to give you some basic stats like the number of tweets, average impressions per tweet, average engagements per tweet, and it'll continue drilling down some information here. There's some of the tweets with the highest impressions, highest engagement rates. There you go. So it's created an engagement rate score and the total number of engagements in order it can give you this list of top 10 tweets. And this is what we wanted from this first round. We'll move on to the next step. So now that we have some of this data, what makes a tweet shine? Maybe it's a catchy visual, a compelling CTA, or just some good old humor. By analyzing what works, we get a blueprint for success. But here's the thing, it's not about copying, it's about understanding. That's a really big point that many people get stuck on. Once you get into the essence of what clicks with your audience, you can replicate the style, blending originality with proven strategies. 
check this out. Further analyze quietly so we don't have to see it. These top engage for the tone and manner, and I may replicate it in this week's content production. Let's see what GPT gives us for this. So it's going to give us the sentiment analysis, some topic modeling on those 10 most engaging tweets that it pulled out from all that data. Again, you can dig through here and see what it's doing. Sentiments are usually about positive, negative words, how they were used, you know, so it can give it to you in a table like this so that you can see it, or it just tells you sometimes in a summary at the end, you know, eight out of 10 tweets were positive, one was negative. That way you understand your positive tweets seem to be pulling more. There are obviously people who have audiences who engage more on the negative news, and you'd see that in the opposite data. Next, this is some modeling from keywords, which I'm very interested to see what it does. Only find this to be problematic occasionally when it finds like keywords that really don't matter. Um, sometimes it'll find like HTTP or Google or something like that in this data. This is better. This is actually showing you some of the best keywords that were used in your engaging content. It shows you recognition of shout outs to others, positive affirmations, mentions of technology, personal insights or experiences. Would you like any further analysis? In this vast digital world, standing out is the name of the game, as well as SEO. That's your secret weapon. Even in tweets, SEO can make the difference between being lost in the crowd or shining in the spotlight. Now ChatGPT isn't just about content style, ask it for SEO keywords tailored to your audience and watch the magic. And the best part, it's not about keyword stuffing, it's about weaving them in naturally into your narrative. Let's ask ChatGPT to provide any additional SEO keywords that would work with my audience and the data provided. Well, let's see what ChatGPT does. It's going to suggest, it's going to extract keywords from your top tweets and commonly search terms related to those keywords. So again, basically doing for us a little bit of SEO work in a great way that saves you a lot of time. And again, we're not having to use any kind of an Excel sheets or anything like that. So we're not having to run all this data and do it. It prevents us from having to waste that time. Here's a list of additional keywords that we should be targeting. Analysis, check. Style, check. SEO keywords, double check. Now for the piece de resistance, ideation. With all this data and insight, let's generate some killer content ideas. By blending AI suggestions with our unique creativity, we're not just guessing, we're strategizing. Remember, data-driven brainstorming doesn't limit creativity, it elevates it. Now let's tell GPT to brainstorm 25 content ideas based on the top engaged tweets and the SEO keywords researched above, focusing on my audience of digital entrepreneurs. Anytime you add additional context, you get better and better quality, so I always recommend that. Let's see what ChatGPT does now that it's ingested this content, helped us kind of get to this point, and now is gonna provide us with some actual content ideas that we can start using. In this case, it's me. So all of this stuff looks very relative to exactly the type of content that I produce. And so here's an example of how I used the last 28 days of Twitter data to create the next 25 content ideas. Just a quick heads up for those hungry for more AI. 
I've got exclusive content in the members area at patrickwagner.com, where I dive deeper, dissecting into the nuances of each prompt, giving you granular understanding that takes things to the next level. If you thought this was detailed, wait till you see what's behind the virtual doors. Become a member and unlock a world of premium insights. To wrap things up, this method is more than just a content creation hack. It's a game changer. The ROI of data-driven approach is absolutely priceless. I challenge you, apply these techniques, see the transformation, and remember in the world of content, data is your compass. Now head over to the website and let's keep this conversation going. Till next time.